Hello chic friends, it's Fiona again from howtobechic.com Today to celebrate the launch of my new book Financially Chic uh, this week I am on day two of my 10 day video series on living a luxurious life on a budget The premise of my Financially Chic book is to uh, that, live a luxurious life on a budget learn to love managing your money and also to grow your wealth so my tip for day two on living a financially chic life is to, it's one of my, oh, I said yesterday's was my favourite thing, didn't I? But this is also my favourite, it's my top 10 favourites that I'm sharing with you in this series. The thing that I'm going to talk about today is to make your home uh, so nice that you would rather be there than anywhere else. Because being at home saves you tons of money and you can still have a wonderful time, you can have a high quality of life and not feel like you're making sacrifices to get ahead financially. So in order to aid how you view your home, I thought a fun thing to do would be to make your home like an Airbnb where you're expecting people to come and stay, but it's actually you and your family that are the guests. So think about when you go to a hotel or a bed and breakfast, or I've never stayed in an Airbnb yet, but I will, I'm sure, in the future. The thing that makes it so appealing is that uh, it's clean and clutter free, there are little comforts around, um, everything's quite considered. So what I mean by that is that when you have, um, I guess, a certain colour scheme in a room, and of course we all do home decor, but often at home, when it's our own home, we put things in a room with no thought of it really. And an example that I mention in my book, Financially Chic, an example that I mention is in my office, in my home office, I have a set of plastic drawers that I bought to store some things and then I decluttered so I don't need to have those plastic drawers anymore. But I've still got this set of plastic drawers in my room that's not very tall, it's like waist height and it's four plastic drawers. But have you ever seen an attractive set of plastic drawers? I don't think so. So... Things like that, they just find their way into your home without you realising and you think, ah, oh, they're just quite new, what am I going to do with them, shall I declutter them, shall I put them in the laundry or something like that, not that our laundry is big enough for a set of plastic drawers, but that's just something I'm um, thinking what, how I'll declutter it at the moment. So things like that, you wouldn't see that in an Airbnb in the living room, would you? Not that they're in my living room, they're in my office. So think about... Say if it's just your main rooms that you might go to, like your living room and your master bedroom. How can you, um, if you look at them with fresh eyes, how can you make them more Airbnb style or hotel style that it would be really luxurious to spend the night at home watching a movie on the sofa or going into your bedroom and feeling like you're on holiday. So that's today's challenge, to Airbnb your home. I um, would love to hear what ideas you've got that you can do that for your home and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for day three of my Financially Chic Tips. If you would like to take a look at my book, it is on Amazon now. Financially Chic, learn to uh, live an expensive life on a budget, love managing your money and growing your wealth. Financially Chic on Amazon.com. This is Fiona Ferris and I'm from howtobechic.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.